Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. Um, in this episode, you might have noticed that I am now on a Macintosh rather than a PC, which is okay, because uh, I probably ought to go between one or the other every now and then, but uh, the reason why I'm on a Macintosh is because my uh, kids kicked me off my PC because they wanted to, uh, to play Overwatch. So, yeah, um, and I'm kind of jealous. All right, anyway, uh, in this next few episodes, we're going to be covering a few different things here. We're going to be covering the main work areas that you're going to be working in when while working in Premiere Pro. And uh, those areas that I'm talking about are uh, these four areas. First of all, I'm going to go down to this area right here. This is your project area. And in your project area, you have several tabs that share this, this area right here. But this we're going to call this, for all intents and purposes, your project area. This is your source area. Uh, we'll talk about what that is. I'm going to divide these up into episodes. The first episode, I'm going to be talking about the project window. Then we're going to talk about the source window. Then we're going to talk about the sequence or timeline area down here. And then we will talk about the program window. And these four basic areas pop up, especially when you're under the editing layout. Assembly is going to kind of share two of those spaces. If you go under assembly mode, you're going to be sharing your source and your program up in these two tabs right there. Uh, it gives you more space to work with your media. But we're going to be working with the editing area here because I want to talk about these four different regions. And one important thing to remember is that if you want to skip between these regions, right now notice that I've got this blue outline around my source monitor. To select different areas, so let's go through the shortcuts to jump into these areas and use your shortcuts within these areas here. Uh, you can simply hold down your shift key and hit at the top of your keyboard, not on your numpad, but at the top of your keyboard. You can hit shift one and it will select your project window. Right now I'm not clicking in these areas with my mouse. I'm just holding down shift and doing one and I'm going to do shift two and look at selects the source monitor. Uh, shift three selects the timeline and shift four selects the program monitor. So, so if you're trying to work quickly and you're working with shortcuts and you want to jump down to your, say, your project window, you're going to hit shift one and then you can hit arrow down and start selecting uh, footage down here. Uh, so right now uh, with the, the mouse, not even touching the mouse, I hit shift one and the arrow down. And if you want to open up a folder, you hit arrow right. We'll kind of go through this, but I just want to show that the shortcuts work within the window uh, that is highlighted with this, uh, with this thin blue line going around that window. So once again, shift one, shift two, Shift 3, Shift 4, and notice how it changes the different windows that you're working out of. Another quick shortcut you got to know before we get into these here is your tilde key. Your tilde key is the little squiggly key above your tab key. On the left-hand side of your keyboard, it's underneath the escape key and above the tab key. Uh, if you move your mouse over a specific window, if I move my mouse over this window right here, and I hit that tilde key, watch what happens. It takes that image full screen, basically. Essentially, not full screen, full screen, where all you're seeing is a video, but it takes that window full screen. If I'm hovering over my sequence and I hit tilde, it brings up that sequence full screen. If I hit tilde again, uh, it shrinks back down to, to its normal area here. Move it over my project window, hit tilde, it goes full screen, back to normal, the source monitor goes full screen, and so on. So just a kind of a quick little Adobe shortcut there that's very helpful. And that also kind of works in After Effects for the most part, where you can move it over Windows and hit tilde, and it will bring those windows uh, full screen. So just one of those little Adobe, uh, Adobe uh, shortcuts. 